In a gambling town like Tunica, you never know where you'll find a world-class poker player, just like here at the world-famous Hollywood Cafe. I'm here with Andy today. He's the manager here at the Hollywood Cafe, and it's a sure bet. If you don't find him here, he's at the poker tables. How long have you been here in Tunica? I moved to Tunica in August of 2009. I moved here actually to play poker. I lived in Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, as you know, Tennessee doesn't offer gambling, and uh, this is the capital of the South for poker, so packed my bags after a World Series trip and hauled on down here. Great. Well, we're happy to have you. I've played poker professionally for roughly about eight to ten years, uh, treating it as a career, but my grandmother taught me how to play when I was four years old, so you could say I've been playing all my life. Professionally, I started taking it serious right around the age when I knew I could play as a career and play legally. Uh, you have to be 21 to gamble in the casino, and I knew if I was going to take it to the next level, I couldn't do it in backdoor illegal games. Plus, I don't <laughs> think my parents would have liked that very much. So. <laughs> True. Um, what makes Tunica a great place to gamble? Tunica is awesome. Uh, there's the best players to play poker from around the south, around the delta. Uh, they come from all over the world to play in our neat little town right here on the river. It's got some of the biggest stakes and some of the best action. I've played in Biloxi on the coast in Mississippi. Uh, just got back from a trip from North Carolina. Played uh, St. Louis, Indiana, Vegas, California, all, all over the United States. But so you're all, willing to travel. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But uh, if you ever uh, see me at the end of a cash day, uh, I report that Tunica is my hometown. Great. <laughs> we like that. What is your advice to newcomers wanting to get into the game? I would say have fun, first mm -hmm. off. Uh, a lot of people come to Tunica just as recreation, uh, not trying to make it a career, and they take it way too serious. Uh, remember, gambling is a game, and just try to have fun with it. Do you have any luck lucky charms when you're playing? I do. I, <laughs> I, I guess my number one lucky charm would have to be my wife, and that, I mean, at least that's what she'd want me <laughs> oh, to say. Oh, she'll but, love that. <laughs> uh, when I propose to her and when I play in big games, I wore the same lucky t-shirt, so you could say... <laughs> Those are my two luck charms. Great, great. So Andy, do you have any tips that you can share with us today? Well, as far as playing poker and high limits or no limit, you can throw the cards right out the window. People play their hands, but you need to play the player. What's the next tournament you're playing in? I'll be over at the Horseshoe here in Tunica. The WSLP is about to start up here in a couple of weeks, so I'll be living over there for, for two weeks or so. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Try to get another ring. <laughs> well, thank you. Good luck. We'll be cheering for you. Thank you.